Andrew would sort of come up and be like, oh, and then this, and then this, and you've got this. And I'd be like, wow, how are you going to bring Hitler into Piccadilly Circus? I don't understand. I'd never read a script like it before. Um, I thought the relationship between the sisters was really fun. I thought it would just, it went to some really mad places quite quickly. I could see all of the creative opportunities that I would have just myself as an actor creatively sort of with the character of Mars um, I had to sort of like learn how to play all sorts of instruments and sing and dance even though I'm terrible at dancing and um, learn how to use a camera and I thought the relationship between the sisters was really interesting. Emma Appleton's character she's more head and I'm more heart and I just wanted that real sort of impulsiveness and um, warmth and all of that to really be available to me. They're sort of supposed to be kind of early feminists, they're sort of supposed to be sort of women that aren't really of that time and don't have the same restraints and haven't been brought up to be restrained and respectable in that way. We made it in lockdown. That meant that me and Emma were sort of kept separate from the entire rest of the world, and um, living in a we're living in a wedding venue for for weeks for the whole of the film, for before the film rehearsals and everything. In the story, they are the only two people that exist in the world to them, really, and it was sort of felt a bit like that as well when we were filming it. I'm handling the camera a lot. Una, the DOP. Um, sort of realised I was quite happy just being thrown the camera and I didn't really know exactly <laughs> what I was doing but I loved, I loved it, I loved being able to do those bits myself. 